Hello and welcome to a new game. Well, not a new game, a new day of Quantum Conundrum. I'm going to be carrying on from where I left off last yesterday, and yeah, let's go with that. Um, so I need to apologise for the last video. There was horrible background noise on it, and I have fixed that. Basically, my laptop. Um, In case you're wondering, my laptop. My laptop gets very hot. I've got I've got like quite a powerful laptop, but it gets really hot, and so I have to have an external fan underneath it. Uh, this fan is, um, it's like a really big fan, and to get my laptop to actually, to get my laptop to play games, such as like Crisis Two or something like that, I have to have this fan on, and I forgot I had it on when I was recording like this the last time, so it had the horrible background noise which you heard. And I have to apologise for this. Okay, but anyway, um, going to get back into the game here. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but in this game, if you see saves and buttons, it's always a good idea to pick them up and put them on the buttons. So, I've got that done. Oh god, okay, yep, yeah, here's a tip, don't walk into lasers, you die. But luckily there's a great checkpointing system. So... To get this working, oh look, there's that guy again. So, um, so, oh look, that over there is another collectible. You see that little thing that looks like an atom? Yeah, I, I would get you that, but I have no idea how to. Can you walk on the e-com? Okay, so. First things first, you're going to need to put down there to complete the level. But also, we're going to need to get some saves into there. So, you pick them up. And I think you should be able to throw them that far. Yep, you can. So this is a pretty easy level, I think, he says. He hasn't actually done it yet. Yep, okay, so now that I've got a nice amount of safety in there, all the buttons are clicked. And so, I'm not quite sure what that does. Oh, it opens this door. Oh, there we go, I've got the collectible for you. Yeah, so this happens a lot. I'm bad at the game, I forget what I'm doing, and I get collectibles by mistake. I've just realised all I needed to do to complete the level is this. Yeah, it was that simple. I'm just being special. But anyway, you know, if you need to know how to get that collectible, now you know how to do it. I always look on the bright side of life with things. I've got a feeling my game sound is horribly low. Either that or my headphones is horribly low. So we're going to see when I publish the video, put it on YouTube. Please let me know if you want to get the sound higher for the game or lower, like whether you have problems hearing me or the game. It's quite hard to tell because I have bad hearing. I also have bad eyesight. I'm quite broken to be honest. So what we have to do, break glass, is you can throw, because see this glass, if you throw a fluffy safe at it, it just bounces off. So to get it working, you have to turn it heavy to break the glass. Yeah, um, the the guy gets a bit angry. The guy, by the way, as you probably already realised, is your uncle. Um, I did that poorly. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy's your uncle, and you're like his nephew, and you and that went awfully during a visit. Um, you he he was testing out his gun. And everything went broke. But now you're here and you're like trying to get him out of it. What I did just then is during the heavy damage, I'll show you the safe. During heavy, fans make the safe drop. But when you turn the fluffy, it's fly. And in this game, there's a lot of jumping on saves that, um, safes that have, are flying. Like, if you've seen the trailer, the trailer's got a really good um, bit where you have to jump across loads of furniture. That's a fun level, but it's ridiculously hard. You'll see me fail at it many a time when I come to do it. Okay, so another tip of this game: if you see a button, press it. Because the whole point of the, the whole level is like first you can walk into a room and you're thinking, how on earth do I do this? But after a little while, you should be able to see. Like with this one, it's pretty obvious. I think you just. 
not let do that, you have to throw it, right click as I found out, and use the safe as a little bridge. So these these all like first three levels are like like any puzzle game like Portal, I'm sure you've played that. Who hasn't played that? And if you haven't played that, I think you should stop watching this video and go play it because it's the best game I've ever played. But yeah, um, with like games like this, the first thing you have to do is work out what you actually have to do before you do it. Because most of the time, the actual doing it is pretty easy. But working out what you have to do, that's the hard part. Okay. So, if you see a fan, that means that the saves are going to have to go like that. Okay, so. I've got to get over there. I'm pretty sure. Is this a fan here? Okay, that's not. Okay, that fan's not on. Let's ignore what I just. I think there's a collectible up there, I'm not too sure. Or it might be the rest of the level. Probably it's the rest of the level, considering the fan's turned off, but still. So, what you have to do here is make a little staircase out of the safes. Safe. Safe. Oh, I should. Plural of safe, I'll never get. Okay, I failed at that. But you can just. Can, he says, fail again. Okay, yeah, so this is where I'm coming at being bad at games. I, like, have the hand-eye coordination of a donkey. So, things are quite hard for me when it comes to games. But, I get there in the end. Perseverance is the key. Yeah, as I thought, this should turn on the fan down there. Okay, I said that should turn on the yep, there we go. You know, just in a little slow. And then, get on this thing, and you fly, and I failed, but there's no full damage in this game, how beautiful, if there's full damage in this game, I'd be dead constantly, that was a lot easier to do it that way, hopefully we'll start getting some other dimensions soon, because that's when puzzles really start to get interesting, not that, like, at the moment, you can see what I mean. It's not that they're not interesting, it's just that... Yeah. Okay, so with this puzzle, you press the button. And you fluff it. Okay, I know how to do this now. And then the fan hit it there. And if they don't have a spaz attack... I shouldn't really say that, should I? I'm not politically correct yet. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I hate people who are like, you're not politically correct. So I'm not racist for anything. It's just that politically correct just sounds so stupid. Okay. There we go, you know, spamming, spamming buttons always works. And falling down holes does as well. If you want to die, that's a surefire way of dying. Okay, well, I'm special and I forgot to start a timer at the beginning of this video. So, I don't know how long it's been. So, I'm going to have to use my natural instinct of time, which is really bad because I'm a man. And as a man, we have no natural instincts. Oh look, a collectible. Ah oh, yes, with these specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Turns out, these collectibles do something. I should probably find out what they do. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather... Well, oh, it's a sausage dog. I like sausage dogs. dogs. Um, so yeah, uh, carrying on through. These loading screens get a bit repetitive. But uh, you have to put up with them, you know. All games are loading. Apparently the new Xbox doesn't have loading screens. Um, it's obviously not out yet, but I'd like to see how that goes. Okay, so this, when everything goes dark and horrible, is the heavy dimension. Now the main thing you get, and the heavy I think is getting turned on by a bird up there. Okay, so let's just go get this thing out of the way. Okay, um, so the main thing with heavy, dim the heavy dimension, I can't remember what's called, is cardboard boxes. Okay, so cardboard boxes, you can't pick them, you can't, you can't pick up anything when it's in heavy, everything's too, you're like still, you're only like a 10 year old boy, you can't pick up weight, but in normal, these do nothing. Like, literally nothing. You can stand on them, I think. No, you can't even stand on them, you fall into them. Oh, good. But, 
in heavy. They are just like safe. Come on, heavy. Come on. There we go. And press down the buttons. And the pressing down to the activates three random ones. Oh god, it's gonna fall in my head. Okay, so now things start to get interesting. Because so I've got to work out. I think I need two. What are the lasers? Okay. Okay, I see what I need to do. I need to get one safe there. So I think I need to get that one working. You know, this is a guess. Because I think I need to knock one of them out with there. Oh god, these things are horrible. If you're trying to follow the same one that I'm following, good for you because I'm failing miserably at it. I think it's this one. Okay. I'm stupid, I've done a wish up wish just the other two that I need to take off. So let's take off this one. Yeah, if you're thinking, why don't you just press the button again? Because they disintegrate. I'm not gonna show you because then I'm gonna have to set it up again. I know that's so much effort. But they disintegrate. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's have, have a look how this works. For some reason it's really slow. Okay. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. But, in good news, I got the other two right, so, it's either that one or that one, probably. I apologise for my horrendous, horrendously bad at this game -ness. That's a really bad saying, how bad I am at this game. There. My English is awful. Okay, well, turns out, what I thought I had to, I had to do was wrong. But, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Sailor V, that's life. That was a bad song. Well, I like quite like that song because I like bad music. But anyway, I'm going off topic. Does that change? I think that picture changes. Oh, it does change. I'm not sure whether it changes or it's just the texture. Okay. So now, or maybe I can stand on the furniture. Can I pick up the furniture? Can I pick up a box? I might be able to pick up a box. Okay, I know I said you can't stand on these, but YOLO. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to get up there when they're like that. Because you can't jump up too thick. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. This is really awkward. I don't know how to do it. I feel retarded. so bad at this game. Okay, so. Um. Oh god. <laughs> Why am I so bad at life? Okay, I think I just realised what I'm supposed to do. I am okay. I'm sure you've probably been shouting at your screen for several years. It does change, you lose a little soon. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah. If you've been sounding at your screen, I apologise. Because I am definitely not the smartest person around. That was really stupid of me, and I apologise. But here, look at a cat to make up for it. Let's be honest, who doesn't love good cats? I don't. Um, so yeah, I'm stupid. Okay, let's see. Do we have, should we do one more puzzle? Hmm. I don't think I will do actually. I think I've gone quite a long way off. So yeah, I'll leave you looking at this cat. It's a beautiful cat, and I'll try and get one uploaded tomorrow as well, which should be fun. And I'll promise not to be so stupid because that was really terrible. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope the background noise is gone. I hope the game sound isn't too loud, and I hope you didn't scream at your computer too much. So yes, here. Yeah.